Hello my YouTube friends and welcome back to my channel. So I have been gone for quite a while now and I just wanted to record a video and jump on and tell you what's been going on, where I have been and why I haven't recorded a YouTube video in quite some time. As you will know if you have watched some of my more recent videos, I defended my PhD on the 14th of April and I didn't tell you too much about my Viva story but Basically, my Viva was five and a half hours long. <laughs> it was very long. I had questions to answer. I was asked why I did things in a certain way. And we went over my thesis corrections as well, bits that could have been better, how I could change it to just make it sound nicer. And yeah, it was a very, very long PhD Viva. I was exhausted by the end of my Viva because we did have a break in the middle, but even though it went really, really fast, it was just, it was like a marathon. It was like running a marathon. I've never run a marathon, but it's what I would guess running a marathon is like. So yes, I successfully defended my PhD on the 14th of April and I passed my th PhD with minor corrections, but my PhD did not stop there. After my Viva, I was given three months to do the corrections on my thesis. So both of my assessors, they annotated the PDF of my thesis and gave me corrections and suggestions on what to change. I didn't have to do all of them, but they were really, really useful in making my thesis even better. So I did want to try and incorporate as many of them as possible into the new version of my thesis. And trying to do my thesis corrections whilst working full time in my new job, was incredibly challenging. As you might know, I started a new job in March, a week after handing in my PhD thesis, and it's a full-time job. So trying to do my thesis corrections after work or at the weekends after working full time during the week. It was just not really what I wanted to do. Being completely honest, from the 14th of April until I went on holiday to New York at the beginning of May, I didn't even look at my thesis. I was exhausted from the Viva and I didn't want to look at my thesis, to be honest. It felt almost like the end of an era. I passed my Viva and I just wanted to enjoy that feeling for a while without having to dive back in and actually look at my thesis and do the corrections and be in that kind of PhD bubble again. So yes, I went to New York at the beginning of May and then when I came back from New York, I only had a few weeks to get my thesis corrections done. Basically the way that it's worked out with my situation is that I really wanted to graduate in summer, which meant that I had to submit my thesis corrections at the end of May because it needs to go through this process of being approved and all your documentation needs to be signed off before you can officially be eligible to graduate. So from the beginning of May, when I came back from New York to the end of May, I was incredibly busy. I would come home from work. I would spend a couple of hours in the evening doing thesis corrections. I would go to sleep. I would go back to work the next day. And I was just on this constant cycle. To throw another spanner in the works, some of the corrections I was suggested to do required software which I don't have anymore with my new job and my PhD laptop was actually taken from me and well I had to give it back when I submitted my thesis which meant that I don't have any of the data analysis software or referencing software which I used for my thesis. So this meant that I had to go into the university at the weekends to actually use the computer in the lab, use the software and do those data analysis bits that I needed to do for my thesis correction. So I spent, I think it was two full weekends in my lab working on my thesis and also using the software and getting the data that I needed to do little bits of edits of my thesis. So as you can imagine, that was incredibly tiring. I was working full time during the week and then going to the lab at the weekend, doing my thesis corrections and yeah. It's been a lot if you haven't gathered that so far. But in good news, I have submitted my PhD thesis corrections now. They were approved by my internal assessor and I have now received my letter from the graduate school saying that I can officially graduate at the end of June, which I am so excited for. And it finally now feels like all of my hard work has paid off. I'm not going to lie, the last couple of months since handing in my thesis, doing my Viva, doing my corrections, it just felt like a never ending cycle of a continuation of my PhD. And I felt like I haven't been able to completely detach from it, if that makes sense. I might be making it sound like I didn't enjoy my PhD. I actually, I did really enjoy my PhD, but I'm already in this new chapter of my life with my new job in a different research field. And I'm kind of at peace now and just 
want to, you know, close that chapter of my life with my PhD and fully be able to move on and focus on my new job. And now with my thesis correction submitted, I feel like I can finally do that. I'm so excited for my graduation day. I've ordered my robes and my parents are going to come to my graduation ceremony. And I'm also hosting a little graduation party at my house with family and friends. So I'm hoping to take some vlogs of all of it so I can share it with you guys also because of course you've all been here on my journey and have seen me get to where I am today so I just want to give a bit back and show you my celebrations and yeah hopefully share my graduation with you too. I just kicked my tripod so if the angle is slightly off now that is why. If it's not off just completely ignore what I'm saying. But yes the main point of this video is to fill you in on where I've been in the last little while because you might have noticed that I haven't been very active on YouTube, I haven't been posting very many videos and yeah I feel like I just needed some time off after handing in my thesis and I've just been so busy with trying to do my thesis corrections whilst working full time that YouTube hasn't really been at the forefront of my mind and I've had to preserve my energy for other things. I am also feeling a little bit lost at the moment about the direction I want my YouTube channel to go in because with my new work there's only so many things that I can share and it's not quite the same showing what I'm up to in the lab there compared to when I was showing my research journey during my PhD so I'm just kind of in this like little limbo space of them at the moment trying to decide what I want to do with my YouTube channel trying to decide what type of videos I want to make and yeah just trying to decide the future of this channel to be honest if you have any suggestions for videos it would be so appreciated just please leave a comment in the comment box below and let me know what you would like to see moving forwards again i'm not sure how frequently i'm going to be posting on here because yeah i am also going through some kind of life changes at the moment some exciting life changes which i'm also deciding if i want to share that process on YouTube also and kind of have some lifestyle focused videos too. I'm just I'm just not really sure where I'm at with my YouTube channel at the moment so please bear with me and I will post videos as and when I have the inspiration and motivation and energy to do so but yeah if my posting is a bit scattered and every month or so then please just understand that life has changed a lot recently and I'm transitioning from being a PhD student to being a postdoc research scientist and trying to find my feet and it's all a bit overwhelming. <laughs> I do miss YouTube a lot though and I miss the community and seeing you guys comments come in whenever I post a video and having chats on the videos so I am trying to find my mojo again I am trying to find my motivation and my energy and yeah I hope I can really find a way to figure out some sort of routine to get videos up and running routinely again and get some inspiration and ideas for new videos for you guys because like I say I miss the community so much and I feel like I'm just not really a part of it anymore these days. My next video after this one should be my New York vlog. I took loads of clips whilst me and my boyfriend Peter were away for my post PhD big holiday so yeah I I hope to get that edited soon and get that up on my channel also. Thank you all again for just being such a huge support always and for following me through this crazy journey over the last couple of years. You guys have kept me sane at times when I thought I was going a bit crazy and it's been so great to hear you guys experience when you comment on my videos and also just to hear that my YouTube channel has helped you in some way that has also kept me motivated to produce my videos during my journey and yes I just want to give a big thank you to you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!